Hey there, Board Game Brody here with Let's Table It, where we get games to the table. Like this one here, Umbrella. It's an abstract strategy game of moving your umbrellas around to make patterns. And this copy was sent to me for review by Pandasaurus Games. So this is the game set up here on the table. Each player has their own player board where they will be moving umbrellas around. When an umbrella token goes on, it will push another one off. Now each player will take a number of pattern tiles that they call figure tiles. You are trying to make the shown patterns using the same of any color umbrella to then place a scoring token that matches that color on your scoreboard. At the end of the game, you will score points for each scoring token for completing sections of your scoreboard with all the scoring tokens covering up the colors in that section and then by not having any umbrellas in your personal waiting zone. This is your personal waiting zone here, and on your turn you will choose an umbrella from one of four different zones. You have your own personal zone, and if you choose an umbrella from it, you will need to add it from the bottom of your board, pushing the pieces up, and the one that gets pushed off gets moved to the center zone. Or, if you take one from the center zone, you have to add it from the top to push umbrellas down, and the one that gets pushed off will come off and be placed into your personal zone. Or you can choose an umbrella from the left and add it to the left and push one off and place it on the zone to your right. Or take one from the right and push it on from the right to push one off from the left to add it to the zone on your left. Your personal zone is all yours with no one else being able to take umbrellas from it. The one on the right is shared with the player on your right, and the one on the left is shared with the player on your left. No one else besides you two are taken from those zones. But then the one on top is shared by everyone in the game. So umbrellas will change with time if those other players decide to take certain umbrellas or add new umbrellas. And if you want certain colors, you have to manage what are in those zones. Again, after sliding an umbrella, if you match one of your figure tokens with all the same color umbrellas, you can add a scoring token to that color on an empty space on your scoreboard. You will pass your completed figure token to the player to your left, and they will add it to an empty spot on their board if there is one matching the orientation of the tile with the star on it matching the star on their board. Or if there is no more empty spaces, that player will have to choose one of the figure tiles to cover up by adding this new one on top of an already out one that they have, matching the stars together to form the new orientation of that tile. Players can only complete one figure per turn. After this, it's the next player's turn and they can do the same. The game ends when either the last available scoring token has been placed, when a player no longer has any figure tokens in front of them, or when a player has placed 10 scoring tokens on their scoreboard. Everyone takes one last turn and then will score their points by gaining two points for each scoring token placed on their scoreboard. You will get negative one point for each umbrella token that is still present in your own personal waiting zone. If you have no tokens there, then you're going to get a bonus of two points for having none in your personal zone. And then you gain points for completing groups on your scoreboard or scoring points according to the level of scoreboard that you are playing as you can get more complex as you use the different level of scoreboards. The player then with the most points wins the game. And that's Umbrella by Pandasaurus Games. And you know what? I really like this game probably more than what others might like about it. But it has some more of those simple rules, kind of like an Azul or a Sakurada type feel, which is mostly the fact that you are playing kind of a multiplayer solitaire game with minimal player interaction. If you're okay with that, then you might like Umbrella. And yes, I am okay with that. And that's why I generally have good things to say about this game. I like how there is some interaction as you have the middle board that other players are taken from and then some from the zones on your right and your left with the neighboring players, but then they have the same, you know, with the neighboring players as them as well. Then you have your own little area where you can strategically plan with those tokens and push umbrellas into it or use those later or to get them out. 
you know, you have more control over your own personal zone and that's why, you know, you are awarded with clearing out those. It also makes more umbrellas, you know, available for everyone if you do that. You know, holding tiles in your personal zone just kind of stalls the game. The game has a fun design of pushing umbrellas from one side to the other. It's a fun puzzle to play with while trying to make the pattern show on your figure tokens. I like how you pass it to the next player and they have to, you know, turn it to match the star. And then they have another one, you know, to go after so that, you know, there's more choices. I like that your colors that you use to complete those figure tokens matter because you're using, you know, the mark off on your scoreboard. And if you don't have any of those same colors, then you probably don't want those umbrellas. And then you can level up, you know, your different scoreboards as you figure out the game and things might get a little bit more complex on how you're doing things with those upgrades. The components are absolutely great. The umbrellas are wood tokens. The player boards are dual layered, so it helps you hold those umbrellas in place or your scoreboard in its spot. Maybe those should have little, you know, holes so you could put your scoring tokens on them, but you know, but it makes it interchangeable to use uh, different level scoreboards as well. The cardboard zones are, you know, included, making it, you know, more intuitive on how you play the game. There's plenty of different figure tokens with which, you know, have enough patterns that you're not going to have the same patterns over and over again. There isn't a lot of art in the game, but I don't mind, you know, what there is. Umbrellas is a way to do, you know, the tokens and presents maybe, you know, a bird's eye view of the streets and in a busy city when it's raining. Maybe that's what they're going for here. The one thing I didn't find in the game, which I thought would be, you know, a fun addition was some type of umbrellas that did a certain effect. This would kind of change, you know, to every turn taking an action or taking an umbrella and pushing another one off every single time. Additional ways to manipulate your umbrellas or do something creative would, you know, be an addition that would add some more variety to the game and maybe make you think more than just pushing one umbrella off to the side. Uh, you know, the same thing you're doing over and over again. But again, I am still a fan and I have enjoyed what this game does. It's an abstract strategy, multiplayer, solitaire game of pushing your umbrellas around. Simple rules, ways to you know get more complex as you upgrade and level up. And it's a game that you need to plan to set up patterns one after another in very efficient ways. Again, this is Brody with Let's Table It, where we get games to the table. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We are working hard to bring to you videos like this one so you know if these games here are ones that you wanna to get to your own table.